As a huntress, I have to say, sometimes it's a little bit hard. There are very many male hunters who have a certain view of, of women in hunting. And I think we have to be very strong to not get discouraged of it. My name is Huberta Tacoli. I am a goldsmith. I produce hunting jewelry and I live in Vienna. My mom is a huntress and this gives me the power and the strength to be a huntress too. She, she just gives you the feeling that we are meant to be in this community and we are a big part of it and we won't leave it anymore. And not only she is a very good huntress, she has very much passion for it and I love when people come to our shop and tell a story from their hand and bring the trophy because my mom can feel with them that as if she would have sat next to them while hunting. It's incredible. It's a power she has that I, I really would like to overtake. The biggest mistake I think is to think that a hunter is an old man who goes on a high stand and just does this for shooting. It's a very, very wrong picture we have in our minds of hunters. It's a lot more. It's a cycle of life and we are living inside of the cycle and we have a certain responsibility. And yes, as a hunter, I have the responsibility of life and death. It's a very big responsibility and that's why I have to care and I have to take over the responsibility. I started hunting with three or four, I think. I went for the first time with my dad and I was very young and um, he tried to, to teach me already very early. So I have a lot of passion inside of me and uh, I love it and it belongs to my life like food, like drink, like anything else. I can't imagine a life without hunting. <laughs> For me, hunting is more than just a hobby. It's a, it's a passion and it's a life decision you make. If you go hunting, you should do it with all your heart and not only with your brain. Being a good hunter means to me very much. You have to have the passion, first of all, and then you have to respect the animal as much as you respect yourself or somebody else. You have to respect the whole forest in the same amount and in the same strength and power, you do anything else. Everything is a life circle and we are part of this circle. I love sitting on a high seat. I love to look inside the green wood and to, to feel the calming down, especially if you are at the evening. You have the, the birds, they get silent, more silent and silent. And you really, you can hear and feel how the wood goes to bed and goes to sleep. It's for me the most magic thing um, that, that you can exper experience on, in hunting. So we are producing hunting jewelry. My mother and I, I'm a goldsmith and I make jewelry out of every kind of trophy mostly stag teeth. I love stag teeth. I use them like other jewelry. Other jewelers use it as use gemstones. I just take the, the teeth of the stag. And for example, here it's our symbol. It's, the, it's our sign of the shop. It's the Haldersau and it brings luck for hunting. It combinates all the common animal and game you have in Austria and uh, yeah that's that's a little bit of Weidmann's Heil we would say in Austria. I like hunting, making hunting jewelry very much because it's always different as every human being is different so is every animal different and every animal has a certain trophy and it looks different and we use recycled gold and we try to make we get, try to make the best and the most out of the trophy and it's, 
it's a hard, nice work because you have to look at the trophy and really like feel it and then you wrap around the gold or the silver and it's just it's more to it it gives it gives the animal a second life as a jewelry piece for the future in hunting i see people have to change because life changes in every in every part of our life and even the hunting changed so we don't go hunting anymore in leather trousers. We go hunting in proper textiles to not get wet. So <laughs> we should go along with that in everything. And even in hunting, we should value and respect everything we learned, but we should modernize ourselves and we should go with the time. And that's why I like to go on a hunt with a polymer stock and not with a wooden stock. It's much lighter and it's easier to go with it and you can't break it or have a, a mark in it only because you let it fall. The worst miss, I think it, it was with my husband together and I I don't know why, I was a little <laughs> bit nervous, maybe because we were hunting for the first time together. And uh, yes, and I missed, and I don't know why, <laughs> I really don't know why. It was not very far. I won't tell you how far it was, but it wasn't far. <laughs> I'm looking forward to teach my kids hunting the same way as I got it teached from my parents. It belongs to my life so much, I couldn't even imagine that other parents wouldn't go for hunting as I was a kid. And that's the same, that's the same value and that's the same I want to teach my kids. And um, especially as my father, my father goes most of the time hunting with me or I learned the most from my father. And he never made a, a big thing about it, but tried us to give us the right spirit and respect for the animals. And that's the important thing. So that's what I want to have in the future, that the wood and the animals stay healthy as they are now. So we have a lot more from the woods than just a few years. <laughs>